that. All right, so time to start closing it up a bit, but I wanted to um, see if, you, if any of you guys had some other things you wanted to talk about, you know, to the to the group, you know. I'll start with Alex. Do you have, like, anything you want to talk about or any questions you want to kind of do a little pop quiz on? Um, no, I'm actually just really excited for, like, every year, just um, the international draft, see, see who we get and just – you know, following the prospects and seeing, you know, who's going to be a surprise and who do you who, who do who do you think is going to be the biggest jump next year from a prospect standpoint? And obviously, mm. I would, everyone agrees Stone and Outman probably this year, but you know, there's always there's one or two guys everyone doesn't see coming and just especially for the Dodgers, just ends up in the top yeah. ten list or comes out of nowhere. Who would have guessed other than me, Justin Bruel and Darian Nunez in 2021? <laughs> I don't know if anyone else would. I just... <laughs> website website shows the proof, man. <laughs> right. <laughs> but those are kind of the names that usually just they what they can't what who what. So yeah, let's see. I don't know. I'm trying to think. Trinidad, you got a prospect that that could just kind of jump through a couple of hoops and all of a sudden show I, up. I kind of I kind of got like two or three in my head right now. One yeah, is for sure, Jorvit Jorvit Vivas. Yeah, I give him because he's a sleeper. He's a short guy who hits for power. Yeah, plays great defense at second base for sure. He can play, I believe, third and left field. I yep. want to say. Yep. Uh, another one is going to probably be uh, Alex Freeland, who we just saw literally in Rancho, mm. and is a shortstop. So we're going to need a lot of depth in that area for sure. And then yeah. my last one, it's going to have to be between. Johnny DeLuca and Diego Cartaya. Woo! Oh, man. And the, and the reason I say that is because there's a lot of big – I see Diego being our future catcher down the road. Yeah. And Johnny DeLuca probably making a big name for himself later later down the year next year. I, I actually have him high probably making a big jump to AAA next season. Mm. DeLuca? Yeah, DeLuca for sure, and maybe be able to probably making it to uh, AAA probably because I for sure we're not without a doubt he's going to start Double A next season. Mm. So those are my yeah. those are my three four guys right there for sure. Okay, so I got I got one for sure, and that is um, a guy named Nick Bittison. Mm. Um, I he was drafted. I'm looking him up right now. He's he's not even that big a dude this year, right? Yeah, he was drafted. I think we saw him in a uh, Rancho. Fourth round. Yes, yeah, he, he was did. in Rancho. Yeah. Yep. So he plays. They played him a lot at third base, and he's got that third baseman's build. But he also played a nice center field. Did so, he play center field? Uh, he did. Yeah. Oh, like, I did not see that. And he played a little bit of center field. So it was because I know Jake Vogel was there the whole season at center field. Yeah. But they had. Uh, so he played. Um, Let's see, at Rancho, he played a, a one game at first base, 19 at third, where we saw him most of the time, six games in center field, and 11 in right. Oh, wow. Yeah, so he looks like an interesting dude that I think might go fast. And then um, yeah, just the underrated guy that, you know, I, I think we just – he just always deserves to be talked about. First of all, because I think, I think people would literally die for this guy, and that's Yaner Fernandez. Oh yeah, um, easily. I, easily one of the one of, definitely a sleeper. Friend actually, of, I think mm -hmm. friend of the show, man. Definitely. Right, and then, uh, and then one other one again, a, another under the radar. Well, Yaner's actually making the top twenty, you know, top thirties list now. But even then, I don't think he gets enough out. credit for what he's doing. I don't. I don't think so. Either. As a twenty-year-old catcher, I don't think he's getting enough credit. Yeah, and he plays second base pretty darn good. Mm, exactly. The new Austin Barnes. Um, I think his on base is a lot better. Yeah. Then the other guy, and we you interview we interviewed him was Junior. Junior Garcia. Ooh, yeah, he's a right fielder. Yeah. Still not in the top thirty. That's that's right. I forgot. Yeah. That dude is not even. Um, he's not even that old. I'm. I think. Did he? I think he's like 23, 22? No, I, yeah, I think he's right around that. He might even be younger than that. So Junior. Hi, now. That's you, right. It's still 21. Oh, so wow. He, he just turned 21 it's a in July. Big dude. <laughs> yeah. 
Put a big, he put up big numbers too. I did. Like, yeah, he had. I thought he had more home runs. He only thirteen home runs. He must have slowed down a little bit in Double A. But right. again, young guy, big kid. I mean, he's a he's a house. We, he sat. He stood in between us. Remember that? Stocky. Stocky. Dude just, took yeah. some room up, man. He just built. He just built. <laughs> yeah, he did struggle at, at Great Lakes. Um, but you know that kind of is what. But he was on fire with Rancho and um, yeah. So th- those are some guys. Um, uh, let's see, Trinidad. You have some, you know, a, something to throw a topic or anything you want to throw out to talk about or ask or give us a little pop quiz or something like that. I just think the biggest talk this year, this offseason is going to be literally our, our shortstop, literally, honestly. Yeah. And how would you guys feel if Carlos Correa comes over, actually? That's my question. Because I feel like every time I ask somebody that, they get really, like, angry. Right. <laughs> like, how would you feel if, you guys, if we had Carlos Correa next season? Alex, you want to go, go first? first? <laughs> yeah. Um, if you want. <laughs> you know what? I, I just – it's probably my least favorite option, right? But I understand uh, from a baseball point. I mean, he's he is an above average shortstop. Um, he he's come up in the postseason. He's had plenty of experience. Yeah. I think it's not going to be a very popular, uh, you know, opinion or, or just a uh, in the beginning. But I do think that it's a sound investment that the Dodgers make he's he's a good player I mean obviously he's been with Houston he has pretty sketchy uh past with them but he's a good player so he's pretty he's on the young side too so it's a smart baseball but I don't think I don't think the fan base is gonna warm up to it initially yeah I you know I think he'll go on a serious apology tour but yeah literally (laughs) I I, I think think you'd have to and he would but I, I did yeah. one of those one minute reels on him on it. And I, you know, you can't cover that much in one minute, but yeah, <laughs> you know, I look at it. If, uh, if Kirsch and JT are good with it, I, I'm going to be okay with it. I'm not going to hate it. I'm not going to love it. Um, He'll help you win. I mean, and I, I, and I don't see him apologizing and you know what? Yeah, if he doesn't, he doesn't talk about good, it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I yeah. Just think uh, it would be either insincere or, you know, I I just I I think he just doesn't give a crap. Um, he has that dog that, that it seemed to have been missing all of a sudden last year. Um, I don't know, man. It would be I tough. Think, I think he'll, for the contract, he'll apologize. You put, <laughs> yeah, I literally. think he will. I think he will. You know, but... as, as as you know, I vote I vote for the name on the uh, root for the name on the. Front. I think he will help. He will help the team win. I mean, yeah. as a ball player, I, I think you can't really argue that. I just don't want well, that to happen. I, you I, want I, me to put that position. I was chatting with a guy today. Um, it just he was he was interviewing me for uh, San Diego Reader about mm-hmm. YouTube stuff because he's another YouTube guy. I met him just this last week at some men's Bible study type thing, and so we talked after church. He just wanted to interview me because I have a web, I do a YouTube page, huh? so. We were talking about baseball, and even though that wasn't the topic, we were talking about <laughs> about tribes, and you know, with baseball. So, like the three of us, I I don't know anything about your politics. I don't know about mm. your much about you in terms of anything personal, and you know what? It doesn't matter because yeah. we're all on the same team and we're pulling for the same side. Right. And you put Carlos Correa on it, it's going to be fine. Um, you know, there's, there's, well, like, let's take, uh, the redacted guy, uh, Trevor Bauer. Right. So <laughs> we remember what happened with, you know, he came on and there was a lot of people pissed off. Um, right. but it, it, the vocal, it's the vocal minority mm. on Twitter. And so, and they, they had some good things to say. I don't do, I didn't necessarily disagree with them. But it's like you know what he's got he's got our jersey on. Um, I'm gonna pull for him. You know now if he comes back, it's a, you know, everyone's got to kind of readjust. Him I think at that him. I think at that point it was like minor, like it wasn't yeah really too it wasn't serious at big. that point. Yeah, yeah. Now it's like I think I think it's be, a little bit it'd yeah. be a big much bigger deal if he it's did a lot more come polar, back. polarizing. Yeah, because no matter what happens, either way with the evidence, if we ever do see the, any more evidence, 
Yeah. People have dug in. They've already made it. People call. have their opinions. And with Korea, people do have their call. But you know what? At the end of the day, okay, it's baseball. They True. cheated. They got away with it. The 1951 Giants cheated. They got away with it. Um, these things happen. I hate it. I will never forgive what they did to guys like Kershaw. Yeah. And all and even us fans, they took our parade away. Right. Yep. We we got our we got our championship in 2020. We didn't get our parade. Those players didn't get to go down Figueroa and and be celebrated by, you know, right. millions of people. So yeah, it changes legacy. I mean, Kershaw, I mean, if he wins that one and that's gonna be a second one. Yeah. Right. There's there and he no pitched, way. I mean, outside of that that game, he was phenomenal. Post there was no way. Phenomenal. There's no way in game five that he gives up six runs. If they're he not never, it never happened before. Never and he had that. never gotten no, zero swing and misses on his off speed. Yeah. On 48 so pitches. So never happened. So Yeah. So we know what happened. So I wonder if there was it, something different during that yeah. series. But It is what it is. <laughs> so, yeah. Right. We just ha- you know, so everyone has a choice. We this can is vote. my take on him. Yeah. This is my take on him signing, though. If he does sign, I think it's going to be based off the players wanting him in the in the clubhouse, mm-hmm. too. Like, just right. like how mm-hmm. you said it. And that's the only reason why, because if these veterans come back, they're not going to forget about <laughs> what happened in 2017, for sure. Yeah. So they're going to have to look at it from a baseball standpoint. Do we need them to win, or do we not want them because of what happened in 2017? Because at the end of the day, the Dodgers are going to be literally do or die now next season. It's going to have to be literally building from, not from the ground up, but you got to build what from within. As like, who do you want back in the clubhouse, and who do you, who yeah. do you need realistically yeah. to win? Yeah. I think the Dodger clubhouse, though. I mean, I think at the end of the day, everyone just if it helps the team win, they don't care. I don't think I think that Andrew Freeman's had like they signed players that they're team first, so I don't think they're gonna. I don't think they'll have an issue, but I think the kind of the good thing about this free agency is that he's not the only option. There's so many source stops options yeah. that you don't have to just. It's either Correa or bust. I, yeah, that's why I feel like I don't feel like Dodger management will themselves because they can get other players similar contracts. So, I mean, I don't feel that shortstop at this for this uh, free agent class is pretty. You have like four or five options. So yeah, last season was a lot. Right, exactly, mm-hmm. exactly. I don't think they're cornered this year. Yeah. All right. So my question was kind of be it was similar, kind of what. Uh, what you got what uh, Alex asked about um about you know players but what mine is just like who who is the player that we haven't been talking about that we should be talking about actually Ooh, I have a few that's a good one. <laughs> yeah same here i have a few too <laughs> let's do it trinidad go it. ahead yeah well we should be talking about actually one was the gainer who you literally pointed out to him He's one of Mm -hmm. them for sure because he's done a lot. Um, Another guy who I think we should be talking about in the minor leagues is going to be Luis Rodriguez. Oh, yeah. That one. Because his name was big coming into this season that he was a big five-tool player, but he kind of slowed down a bit this season. Like he got exposed to a lot of pitching because his strikeouts were a little too high. Play this player is not there. But – I think next season he's going to be a big name coming in now that he's gotten the taste of the high of single A. So he should Mm. be moving up higher. And one more player would probably be Jake Vogel for sure. I still have high hopes for that kid, even though he's struggling a little bit. Do a little better though. Yeah, no, I'm I'm glad you're saying that because yeah, that's cool. I have actually have a few as well. I think a lot of like we haven't even discussed. And I think that was my, my prospect kind of that I think maybe even makes it to the majors next year is going to be Nick Frasso. I think he takes. Oh, good one! Oh yeah. man, uh, he, that's. Oh, well, I'm cheating. I have a top thirty him. list, so I'm actually you know seeing them in front of me. So I'm kind of cheating, yeah. but Nick Frost. I mean, like his stuff oh, is yeah. second to none. I think in all the minors. I mean, his stuff is just ridiculous. Yeah, he has he has a pep. Uh, he has a seventy grade changeup. His fastball is like seventy grade. I mean, it's just it's pretty outrageous to be honest. He has a six five build. I mean, is that the guy I we think got that's Mitch White this season? Yes. 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 Yeah. From Toronto. Yeah, you're right. His ERA is literally 183 this season. But his yeah. stuff is. I mean, his stuff is just. It's. It's video game. It's. It's not comparable. I think at some point he might. He might get a run at the the major league. I think he's already at Double A. 
And then a few, uh, yeah. a couple of other ones I think that we haven't talked about is um, well, there's a lot of them, but Kyle Hurt. I mean, his stuff was nasty. Yes, that nasty. Was, yes, nasty. I think he, he can be he can a be a sleeper relief option. I think at this point, but his stuff was just gross. Easy gas, man. Easy gas. And the last guy I think is a uh, the guy we actually covered is a Ronin Cop. Yep. Yes. I think he makes. I think he gets a triple A this year. Well, actually, no. I think it's double A because he's he's in high A now, right? Yeah. Yeah. He but, he made it to Great Lakes. But I think he he skips a few because his only strikeout tw- rate is just crazy. He, he's only twenty years old. Yeah, I he was nineteen this season. Yeah, he just yeah, when turned I twenty. Interview- when I, I sat down with him and interviewed with him, I'm look I'm gonna go, wait, dude, you're only nineteen. Holy smokes, born in two thousand two. How crazy Jeez. is that? <laughs> How old does that make you feel? <laughs> He's four Jesus. years younger, four years younger than my youngest son. Yeah. And but, his stuff is yeah. big guy. And it's all about but, command with him. Dumb, dumb stuff. Yeah. His and stuff gets, is wild. I mean, he does. I mean, despite the fact that we probably all can't stand him, he he very much looks like Madison Bumgarner on the mound, except he throws yeah. harder. I think his stuff is yeah, it plays up a lot more. He throws harder. He was just overshadowed yeah. this season because of uh, Maddox Bruns. He was just yeah. overshadowed by yeah. him. That's another guy that you know if he figures it out can. We have, there's so many. You have like yeah. what, uh, um, Sheenan. You have Nostrani. What is it? Nick Nostrani, dude. There's oh, so yeah. many players that are just like high end stuff that they're loaded. Yeah. Pick and choose, I think. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I'm pulling. But, oh, let's see. Yeah, man. Peter Hubick. That's, that's that a, yeah. I mean, there's another guy who can just, you know. Jeez. If he fills out a little bit, his stuff is like mid nineties. Hopefully Edgardo's I, that's the guy. Okay. He got injured. That one. He's the yeah, one that was, John. Yeah. Yeah. He's, Great kid, he's the one I thought was maybe the best of them all. Because he's yeah. only nineteen as well. So we get him back Crazy. in 2024. <laughs> yeah, it's Sheehan, man. That dude did That's, some stuff. Sle- yeah, they're very un- it's like he's he hasn't got much noise and he's all he's done is pitch pretty well. Yeah, I mean I say. That, that 20 you know what that 2021 draft that might that might be an all-time great la- draft. 106 strikeouts, 68. I mean that's that's reliever stuff. Jeez. That 2021 class actually, they're comparing it to the 2016 class. That 2016 yeah. class was a great draft too. I think I actually did I write? I thought I wrote so many pitchers, about that. so many pitchers. Yeah, I thought I wrote about that one too, because um, it was um, it, yeah, it's very because I for for DN I wrote Dodgers Nation. I wrote a lot about um, the uh, the 2016 draft a couple times because it's just like holy smokes, look at these guys. Another um, guy we're not talking about is a uh, London Knack. Yeah, that's yeah. another guy who I might be in the, in the my fold. Mouth. <laughs> yeah, my God, it's like you can't miss. <laughs> I might have wrote it for Dodgers Nation. I'm thinking, but yeah, I wrote a little bit something about some of the 2021 draft. But yeah, yeah. Nestrini, Sheehan, um, Cop. Those are those are some of those. Was that the know, draft we took like 18 out of 20 yeah. pitchers? Yep. Yep. And they also got – they had some good free agent signings too. They had uh, Austin Gauthier. That one was one That's of my right. favorites. That's right. That dude – That dude. Actually, we talked about that. Was he, in, was he in Rancho? He was, yeah. I think we saw yeah, him, he right? got called up. Yeah, he got oh, called yeah. up to Great Lakes. Yep, he did. Crazy. So, and, oh, the, so the only free – the guy that signed – the only position player that signed was uh, Damon, Damon Keith. Well, that's Ooh, right. going to be a great one coming forward, mm-hmm. moving forward. So that draft is he, sick. Yeah, he had an OPS of like 900, I believe. Yeah. Is, was absurd. Ben Harris in the 2021 too? Yes. Jesus. Oh, man. There's, so <laughs> many, there's just too many. There's not enough list on the on the top 30. So Ben, Ben <laughs> I, he I don't know. Minors in the strikeouts, he had, right? it, he, something like that. Yeah, he was two strikeouts per inning. Per, um, I saw him, it was opening day wow. for Ranch, at Rancho. And he had, he gave up like five runs in uh, in that game and just was devastated you know he was devastated like anyone would be but that dude i don't think he gave up anything for the rest of the year it seemed like he just came in and just kicked the snot out of everybody yeah that draft jeez 
So, yeah, I mean, think we, we you know, we just kind of, you guys obviously going to, when I took some of mine, obviously, because that's, you guys are on the same page. We get it, man. These guys are, we have so many dudes to talk about and, and to write about. I mean, geez, next year, let's, let's just talk briefly about, I'm trying to get back to this page here. So it'll let me go back here. So next year at Rancho alone, we'll probably get Don Con a little bit more. Right. Um, we had him a little this, bit this season. Yep. Yep. We did at the end of the year. Nice. He's so darn young. Is is Duran in um single A? High high. High A. He'll he'll high. he'll go up. He would have been he would have been up fast if he got hurt. Um, Hubick. Um, he, he right. might be back again. Or they're, they're gonna li- they limited him this year. He's coming. Yeah. You know. Um, Logan Wagner. I thought he also <laughs> played shortstop. We're gonna have uh, Diaz, of course, at Ranch. We're gonna have Jesus Galiz. I'm actually really high hopes on them too. Another, yeah, another we, high, totally, high. Totally forgot about that guy. Um, another catcher. Yep, I think uh, you know Nastrini's really gone up. He, I mean, Nastrini was at Rancho briefly. We will never see Dalton rushing at Rancho again. That's for sure. Look at how high they got Ramos, man. They got Leonard at uh playing is at the MLB level. No, they just put him there to uh for to cover the forty man. He's on the roster. This season. Oh, He's on the I was like, yeah. that's a. But look, different. they have they have him twenty twenty three. That's they yeah, have that's pa- right. Paez at twenty twenty three. I think he's more twenty twenty four. I think uh, Diego is twenty. I don't think twenty twenty three unless all of a sudden he goes bonkers. Never know. The talent's there, right? Um, yeah, I want to see Nack did. I don't know why they're saying twenty twenty three. He did not go to the majors. <laughs> um, but yeah, he, he had a tough year. Um, it was injury, right? He dealt, dealt with injuries. Yeah, yeah, all sorts of stuff. Like it was a foot or something like that. I can't remember now. Or a fa- I can't. I'm just or I'm a strain stupid. or something, right? Yeah, something like that. But there's so some of these guys out. might not even be on the 30 minute list next season, though. I know. I see. There's more. Changing. More are coming. Well, no. Well, well and the trades. One, I'm assuming this. This one is going to be updated in March. Yeah. So. We're going to see Alex Freeland up here probably. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is my guess. I think that he, I think in his short time, he only hit like three home runs. He hit three home runs in like two weeks. Yes. Was was he a Rancher. second rounder or a third rounder? Or... Something like he was that. A, yeah. You think he was like a fourth round pick, actually, okay. to be honest with you. Is he, is he the, the switch hitter or no? Yes. Gotcha. Mm hmm. So third yeah, round. he was a he was a switch hitter. Yeah, he has had some pop in that bat too. Yeah. yeah. So he was he went to uh, Central Florida third yeah r- round three, so thirty two at bats three dongs. Um, look at that. good okay, walk one oh one oh one four, um slug six twenty five. So he he might start we, high right. I mean he came out of college. I know we we so. we might see him a little bit. The only reason. That we may see him stay down is because of uh, some of the other guys they already have at high age. We'll crunch. see. Well, remember they did trade De Jesus. That was that was that's a shot. right, right. That was one but of the guys. But that got us. Uh, that got the pitcher. Yeah, it, it, it's, he he was blocked. Um, yeah, Alex, though, man, that's that's a I did. He was such a quiet guy, and I met him yeah. on media day. Didn't even talk to him but the year before, and all of a sudden he's. He speaks perfect English. He translated <laughs> for me during the season. He was such he did, a nice, yeah. He's a translator. Classy dude, man. Just real, real sharp. I, 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 I hate losing guys like that. Good. Well, I see actually on this list next season. I don't know if you know Tim or you, Alex. Uh, Chris Campos, the guy they just drafted this yeah. year as well, too. We talked to him. Like, he was a he was yeah. a from Pomona, right? I think. Yeah, no, he's he from St. Mary's. So, yeah, he's from St. Mary's. Yeah, yeah. We actually yeah. talked to him a little bit in a uh, uh, rancho. Yeah, he's yeah, uh, he still thinks he's gonna play some shortstop, <laughs> <laughs> right? Kid throws hard though, but they like yeah, the does. they like the the depth of his uh fast over. Analytically, he said his fastball is a plus pitch with a spin. Mm. That's so what I, that's what I saw from a prospects. Let's see who else we get in here. Because that's uh, what, it's always one of the fun things, right? To see who do we get at Rancho? Because we also I mean, have that other kid, uh, T- Taylor Young or Tyler Young. Yeah, that kid yeah, that nailed kid. it, man. Taylor. Yeah. So last year, Dalton okay, Richardson, rushing Freeland Bittison. 
Sean McClain, um, Logan Wagner. So they, they drafted a lot of guys at shortstop. We got oh yeah, Campos. Young was second baseman. Yep. His bat looked good. His bat yeah. looked live, like off. He's one off he's bat. A, yeah. Um, oh, we drafted so, Phil Nevin, son. Yeah, Kyle. So he's he's a thin. We talked to him too. <laughs> he's thin. But he's gonna fill out. He's gonna he fill, fill out. out. Yeah. He, they they like his power a lot. Jacob Metter, I saw him at the last game. I think you were there too, Trinidad. Yeah. Remember, he came – I think he started the game, and he was He did start the game. He was good. Another short – look at this. Another oh, look at these short steps. I don't think we signed either one of these guys, though, it doesn't look like. Uh, we well, signed maybe, I don't know. Karros his son. Yeah, yeah, we signed his son. So we'll see Karros. Maybe we'll see uh, Fabio. And we got, that... <laughs> we got Bubba, too. That's right, man. Chris Ali- – Bubba Elaine. Elaine, yeah. Another good dude. A lot of sh- – man, they really went high on the shortstops for obvious reasons. We already talked about mm-hmm. it. They had a problem. Yeah, we mm-hmm. – well, I think they also draft shortstop because worst case scenario, they can move them to third base or second base. It's – you know, you have the yeah, tools already. utility and yep. Right. Yeah. It, you can take a shortstop and make him – And move him to any position, yeah. Yeah. They're kind of the opposite of a uh, of a second baseman, right? Right. You, you you can't do much with them. They're second base. Or left fielder, you're, you're either left fielder TH or first base. You know, Ooh, play short stuff. Okay, here we go. Let's take a quick look here. Oh boy, these guys. 2021 draft. Okay. I mean Brian, the first six you Kubek. don't miss. The first five. Strini, Kasparius, man. Kasparius, then M machine. Ryan Sublet, another one. Ben Harris. There is Leo Lockhart. That's a lefty. Hobbs. What is he? He's another pit. Of course, they're all pit. Yeah, oh, yeah. Robleski. He came up. He looked good. Oh, that's right. Yep. He's coming off Tommy John. Leisure. Uh, I forgot about him. Oh, Antonio Knowles. He's I don't even think he even went to Rancho ever. Um, Jordan Leisure's interesting. Madison Jeffrey, that could throw some throw some gas. He throws some heat. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He gave, just gave up a lot of home runs this season. That was his yeah. downfall right and the, there. And the walks too. I mean, he just and then we had uh Damon Keith. Damon Gabe Keith. I, ne- I never saw um Gabe Emmett. Gabe Emmett. Yeah, he I never pitched, saw him I believe, like I know he was there. I he, and he looks at a distance. He looks like Quebec. Um, yeah, but I never saw him. I wanted to see him pitch, but it's like I never got to see him pitch. So, all right, cool. So there's a lot of players. We're as you can tell, folks. We are excited. We are excited. Yeah, about miners is something up. every year. Every year, oh, refreshed. Man. Yeah, yeah, that's fun to be a daughter fan. Developed. We need, I I to be honest, guys. I it's fun to be a Dodgers fan. <laughs> I needed I needed this talk, man. Cause just you know, you go and you you know, we saw what happened yesterday. Well, I was actually watching. We don't have to talk you know, about it. I was watching Theo <laughs> Vaughn live. Yeah, so that was way <laughs> way happens? better than watching yeah. that. And I'd rather get my eye poked out. But um, <laughs> you know, we saw that. We saw what happened. We saw what happened during the season. It was a huge letdown. Yeah, yeah. the biggest it, like I, they say it's probably true. Biggest disappointment as a Dodger fan um, or right up there, right, right in the top right. five. Um, yeah. And now, now it's time to heal a little bit. Like I said, it's kind of like uh, bring, bringing uh, Mariah Carey back to, uh, you know, when Chris, when Halloween ends and she comes out of her thing and, yeah, you know, she defrosts. <laughs> she defrosts and then it's time for uh, time for the winter season, which means for us trades, free agents, rumors, <laughs> rumors go mostly rumors we're gonna have the trade day, day, right. the, we're gonna have the trade the uh, the winter meetings and in, in uh, right Dandy, we'll, we'll be covering it somehow yeah we're gonna rule five we're gonna have it all so um you know just to any any quick last words guys and I'm, I'm gonna i'll do a little little summary and we'll move on it's a pleasure you know good talk covered pretty much everything i think <laughs> yes yeah, same honestly i mean we covered a lot especially with these prospects and i mean i think the biggest talk was also to just the shortstop rumor but i mean we'll right. find out probably in another month or so who who the dodgers end up getting but overall great talk with you guys it was a lot of fun for Definitely. sure but yep. you know we got to look forward to the future now see how what happens down the road yeah. yep and in the next uh, few days we're going to find out about jt's contract we're going to find out about qualifying <laughs> offers and we'll go from there. Um, guys, thank you very much uh, to the uh, followers of uh, Dodgers 2080. We always appreciate you. We're looking forward to uh, dealing with you this off season. We're going to get as much content out as we can. Um, we're going to uh, 
be on these things you know when big things happen we'll do something whether it's one of us or three of us or whatever and if anyone out there is interested in joining the team we are we have openings we need people that can write or talk or both um but mostly the main criteria is to be a huge prospect hugger because that is what we all are and we love the, we love the, we love our dodgers we love our prospects um, we definitely Funny clutch time. our pearls a bit with them um, but we definitely appreciate you all and we will talk to you guys soon as after this very long video, which we're guessing is broken in chunks. <laughs> we're putting Joe I Rogan so. to shame in terms of length here, man. So really appreciate you guys. We're heading to Lex Friedman, Friedman care, uh, territory here. All right. Thank you, guys. And we will see you later. And for Trinidad and Alex, I am Tim, and we are out. Okay.